In this video, we are going to learn about catching. Despite the it's a spelling it catching, but it is uh, called as caching. So caching is a mechanism to store data into machine memory temporarily and access it whenever it is needed. ASP.NET provides many ways to catch the data and they can be used in different places based on different scenario. So in, in this series, first let us learn how to perform page output caching in ASP.NET. Page output caching is generally used when you have a lot of complicated data on the page that is coming uh, after a lot of calculations uh, from many third party components or a lot of logic and you are ultimately displaying the output on the page and you do not want to perform the same logic same calculations each and every time the page is requested so in that case what you can do is that you can cache the entire page into the server memory so that when the next time the page is uh, requested it will be pro it will be served to the user from the server memory instead of processing it again and again so in this way you can basically achieve the, uh, the very good performance of your applications but do remember that you should not overuse this because uh, all the data that you are storing into the uh, into the server into the memory as as part of the catch is stored into the uh, web server memory and if your web server memory is not enough then instead of uh, increasing the performance of your application it will basically decrease the performance of your application because the application itself will not have enough memory to process the request of the ser uh, of, of the client so in order to understand how the page output caching uh, is done in asp.net let's uh, first create one aspx page so so let me uh, create one aspx space so here is add new item default add and then i am copying and pasting this code this is very simple i will explain it so first what we have is a label control on the page and apart from that i have used output catch this is the directive that is used to basically catch the output of this page in the server memory and then we have to specify the duration of the catch means till how many seconds this patch this page should be cached and where we param we will see about about this later on so first just here understand that when this page will be uh, processed and sent to the uh, re, uh, sent to the user before sending to the user it will be cached into the server memory for 15 seconds so after the first hit whatever request will come till 15 seconds those requests will be served from the server memory so let me just uh, copy paste the code behind also from here so here is my code behind now here what we are doing is that when the page will be loaded for the first time it will it will write the current data time in the in this label and uh, because this page is cached for 15 seconds so all the request till the 15 seconds will be served from the server memory so the data time of this label will not change till 15 seconds so let me just browse this page and show you so it is 31:58 pm i am refreshing it you can see that still it is 31:58 pm but after 15 second you will notice that this 58 will change you will see after 15 second it has changed it means that till 15 seconds the output of this particular page was cached into the server memory and all the uh, request were being served from the server memory but as soon as 15 seconds is lapsed the page is again being processed on the server and the fresh is being sent uh, back to the client and then again the page is being cached so this is the output catch and here we are not only catching a particular control or a particular portion of the page but we are catching the entire page output okay in the last how to we saw that how to cache the entire page into the server memory 
in this how to we are going to learn that how to implement partial catching or fragment catching uh, or how to uh, catch the user controller data in the server so uh, in order to do that what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a user control first so let me right click and add new item <coughs> and then user control and let's name it as anything my user control okay and then on this what I'm doing is that I'm going to copy paste some code I'm sorry not this this is going to be my user control code fine and on this user control what we have is basically we have a label control called LBL message and this user control is being cached for the 10 seconds and then in the code behind of the user control what we have done is that we have again written the current date time now remember that we also have a control on the ASPX page and in the code behind we have LBL message dot text equal to means in the code behind also we are uh, modifying the data of this label but I am this time I am just removing the output cache from the page directives and I have kept the output cache into the user control it means that I am instructing the ASP.NET that we have to catch the output of this user control for 10 seconds only so when now let us use this user control here so I am going to use this mm, register src is equal to my user control tag prefix equal to uc and tag name equal to catch now let us use this here I'm writing one HR tag and then uc run it equal to server id equal to uc uc1 now remember that here in the user control also we have a label and in the aspects page also we have a label and in the both code behind I am sp specifying the LBL message or text equal to current date time here and in the user control as well so now let me first run this page and then uh, I, will, I, will, I will tell you what is the difference here now here you, you can notice that we have two date time the bottom one is coming from the user control and the top one is coming from the ASPX page now because this user control output is cached for the 10 seconds see here duration is 10 seconds so what will happen is that when I will refresh this page then only this date time will not change for 10 seconds but the the top date time will change because this is in the page and page is not being cast only the user control is being cast in this scenario so let me refresh this time naturally uh, the uh, both data will change so 59 now I am refreshing notice that this this date time is changing but not at the bottom one see here but after 10 seconds both data will change see here now both data may change so in this way what we are doing we are catching only the fragment of the page means only this portion of data whatever data will come from this user control will only be cached to the server and that is why it is called fragment catching or partial catching